afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today's unboxing and first impressions video. We have a large box. As you can see, it's blocking out most of my body. So we have my fall haul from Huckberry. Now, before I forget, right up top, Huckberry did send me the contents of this package for free, but all the opinions in this video and all the forthcoming videos are mine and mine alone. I did not share this content with Huckberry prior to publication. They will see this when you do. So, um, if you're unaware, I, uh, I've been working with Huckberry now for a few months. I've got my unlined wax trucker jacket on right now that they sent me a couple of months ago. And I also have my all-American stretch on as well. So this is the continuation of the partnership that we have been working on together. Now, I have an idea of what's inside this box. I think I know about what products are in here, but then I gave them a laundry list of sizes and different colorways. And uh, for long, long sleeve button down shirts, I said, here's like, I think I laid out like four to six different shirts that I liked in sizes and colors. So I don't know everything that's in this box. Also one item came in stock after we uh, set the list. An item that they wanted me to check out came back in stock. So I don't know if that's in here. So this is a bit of a surprise. And uh, I'm excited because this came like super early today. It came like 11 o'clock in the morning and I was sitting at work all day long waiting to get home so I can open this box. So I'm gonna stop talking and start opening. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, well I see a box right on top, so I think the item that I was unsure of is a pair of boots. Got myself a pair of Rhodes Logan. I've been looking at these for months and they literally came back in stock the day that we finalized our list after I sent them all my sizes. I got the email notification that these were in stock, so I was really, really hoping that these would be part of this package because I have been really, really anticipating these. I think these are gonna look great with all of my wax trucker jackets from Flint and Tinder. So very, very excited on the Logan boots. Ah, I love the smell of leather. Let's keep going through the box. We've got a pair of Flint and Tinder 365 pants in the gray colorway. And this is in the straight leg fit where the tan ones that I have for my last haul are in the slim fit. So I wanted to try the different cuts uh, to see how they compare to each other. Here we have the Proof 72 hour Merino t-shirt in the performance cut size large. This is another Proof 72 hour performance in a size large in a different colorway. I think this is the Ox Blood, but the other one is the stone black colorway. Another 72 hour Merino wool performance fit in, I forget what colorway, this is like a, a slate, it's like a, a grayish bluish colorway. I forget what it's called offhand. I'm gonna have to check this one out. And this is the 72 hour performance Merino in the classic fit size medium. Here we have the Flint and Tinder 365 shorts in the seven inch inseam. Here we have the Proof Rover shorts in a seven inch inseam. And here we have a shirt that I've been staring at for months and months that keeps popping up in my Facebook feed. I've been drooling over this. This is the Flint and Tinder Bone Button Western shirt. I love Western shirts and I've really, really been wanting to check this one out. Here we have the Flint and Tinder Cotton Linen Button Down Long Sleeve shirt. And last but not least, we have the Flint and Tinder Architect shirt in the Olive Herringbone colorway. Good thing I checked the packing slip because I thought they were sending me a pair of sunglasses. It was wrapped up in some of that packaging you might have seen me throw out. These are the uh, Weekender sunglasses in Tortoise. Now, I do wear contacts and I'm getting new contacts probably next month. I'm getting my new prescription next month. So I asked to uh, send me a pair of shades because the reason I got two pairs of shorts in this haul is uh, I'm going to Florida to Disney. Um, if you've been following along, you heard me talk about looking for my Disney dad bag. Uh, well, we're going to Disney in October. It's still gonna be quite warm. I'm gonna be wearing contacts quite a bit because I'm gonna get a new prescription next month. And uh, so they sent me some shorts as well as some sunglasses so I can test these out because it's still gonna be like 80, 90 degrees and still going to be hurricane season while we're in Florida. So it's gonna be hot and humid and uh, the sun will be shining. So I will need to protect my eyeballs. So again, glad that I looked at the packing slip because I almost threw these out. So why did I get four different 72 hour Merino wool t-shirts to test out? And honestly, I thought I was gonna get two. I wanted to get one of each of the fits to test the fits out. And the reason I got larges in the performance and a medium in the classic is because the performance, they say it runs a little bit slimmer and it's slimmer in the, in the chest and the shoulder area. And since I'm kind of broad up top, I went with the large because I thought they might be a little snug on me and I might be a little uncomfortable, especially since I plan on wearing these as well in Florida 
where it's gonna be hot and it's gonna be humid and my clothes are gonna be stuck to me. So I wanted a little bit more space so uh, I'm not just um, stuck to my clothes for an entire week. But uh, I gave them some color options. I, I gave like four or five different color options in the performance. I said either of these colors would be really cool for me. And then I basically said any color in the uh, classic would be cool with me because the performance come in a much larger color range than the classic fit. So I said these were the colors that I liked the most and then they ended up just sending me three of them. So that's awesome. So Huckberry, thank you for sending me three of the performance t-shirts and one of the uh, classic. I'm really looking forward to testing these out, A, being them to see how the classic fit as opposed to the performance. And of course, I will let you know in the full real user review, which one of them I prefer if I actually prefer one over the other. Now, both the performance fit and the classic fit come in at $88 USD per t-shirt. The performance fit is available in 18 different colors where the classic is available in four. The 72 hour merino wool t-shirt is made from a New Zealand merino wool with a nylon core. So this can be tossed in the washing machine because if you're unfamiliar with merino wool, you generally aren't supposed to put this in the washing machine because it kind of messes it up. It pills it and the dryer will shrink it. And you're also supposed to use a, a different detergent. I think most people use the Dr. Bronner's detergent and you just wash it in the sink. And the reason merino wool is so popular, and this is the 72 hour merino wool, it's so popular because you can wear this for days and days without changing the shirt because merino wool is naturally odor resistant as well as moisture wicking. So basically you can wear this shirt for three full days and not stink and not get kicked out of the brewery. Or in my case, not get asked to leave Disney. I'm feeling this, this feels nice. Now I have not had a lot of experience with merino wool. Most of the merino wool that I've had has been merino wool socks. I, uh, I don't think I've actually had any merino wool t-shirts in the past. So this is uh, gonna be my first time wearing and testing merino wool. And this is the classic fit in a size medium. It looks great, feels great, and I really, really like this colorway. And then we have the performance fit. And this does, but again, this is a size large, so it does look a little bit wider in the body, but honestly, looking at the chest and cross pit to pit, it looks about the same to me as the medium. So I think this is gonna give me about the same room up top in the chest while giving me a little bit more room in the body, which is okay because if anything, I'm going to be growing wider and not taller at this stage in the game. But again, feels really, really nice. Again, I like this colorway. I believe this is the Oxblood colorway. They are pretty thin, so I think this is going to feel really, really good uh, wearing this as my only layer in Disney. It's also gonna feel really, really good as a base layer. So if I'm gonna be wearing one of these button down shirts, I can wear one of my merino wool t-shirts underneath it as my base layer. Or if I were to be out hiking or traveling, I would wear this as my base layer. Obviously it's a t-shirt I can layer from there and it will help to wick the moisture away from my body as I start to sweat. And because it is definitely odor resistant, I'm not going to smell, which is a huge plus. And that's why a lot of people choose to wear merino wool when they're traveling because they can do one bag travel, pack very minimal t-shirts and wear them for an extended period of time and then wash them. And because merino wool is you're not supposed to wash it in the washing machine, you can just wash it in the sink wherever you're at, in the hotel, the hostel. If you're traveling you know, in a van, you're doing van life, you can wash it in the sink in the van. You don't need a lot of resources to wash and take care of merino wool. And it just feels so, so nice. I'm really, really loving this. And there's a little bit of a size comparison. You could see the large performance is a little bit bigger. I'd say maybe about a half an inch, quarter to a half an inch on either side of the width. And it's probably about a half an inch in length. But if we're going pit to pit here, I have lined up. It's about the same width pit to pit. The classic medium and the large performance are about the same size pit to pit across the chest. So if you're a little bit bigger in the chest and the shoulders like me, and you want the performance fit, but you normally wear a size medium, you might wanna do what I just did and upsize to the large the performance, because I think the large is going to fit me pretty good in the performance. And looking at it again, it doesn't look like it's really that much bigger in the body. So I don't feel like it's going to look or feel too sloppy on me when I'm wearing it just as a t-shirt. So again, the plan with the 72 hour merino wool is to A, B, the classic fits, the performance fit, see if they feel considerably different and uh, see if I regret going with the size large in the performance or going with the size medium in the classic. Just see how the sizes overall fit. And uh, we're gonna go from there. And now uh, really looking forward to testing these out starting tomorrow. A lot of clothes in this box. It's gonna take me a couple of these maybe.
the champagne of beers. Also one of my two preferred summer sipping beers. Nice cold high life in a bottle. You can drink these all day long, especially when you're outside doing some yard work, painting fences, putting up fences, cutting the grass, swimming. Nice cold bottle of high life. Cool you to the core. Now we're just gonna do all of the bottoms together. So we have the Flint and Tinder 365 pants in a straight fit. And then we also have the Flint and Tinder 365 shorts in a seven inch in inseam and the Proof Rover shorts in a seven inch inseam. Now, if you saw my last unboxing or the review video that accompanied it, I did do the Flint and Tinder 365 slim fit pants in a khaki. So I wanted to AB the slim fit to the straight fit. Now I generally wear slim fit pants but um, on the occasion where I'm wearing boots, I will sometimes wear my tried and true, one of my favorite pairs of boots, which is my Double H Ropers. And because it's a Western style boot, it's high, I wear my pants over the boot, not in the boot. I thought the straight leg might look and feel a little bit better because uh, at the time, I wasn't sure when these sexy Rhodes Logans were gonna come back in the stock. So I had anticipated wearing my Double H's, but now these amazing, Amazing Logan boots, really looking forward to these. But back to the bottoms. But looking at 365 pants and the 365 shorts, I see a very big difference right off the bat. You can see the back pockets of the pants have a denim like jean cut pocket where the shorts have that more slacks pocket. So let's go ahead and open it up. So we do have the slit pocket on the shorts. I'm gonna guess these have the same, yes, they have the the denim, the jean style pocket on the pants. So the one thing that I really, really liked about the 365 pants, as well as the Rover pants when I got them, was the fact that they had the jean cut, the pockets, back pockets, and especially the front pockets. Now, I'm not a huge fan of slit pockets. I don't mind the look of it. It's the way they function. When I sit down and I have change or my Swiss Army knife in my pocket, sometimes with a slit pocket, it will fall out of my pocket where if I'm wearing jeans or a jean style pocket of a pants, that doesn't happen because the pocket comes higher up as opposed to further down the leg, but that's just a personal preference. Again, I don't mind the way it looks, I just don't mind the way it functions, but the caveat here is I'm flying to Disney, so I will not be bringing change and I will not be bringing my Swiss Army knife, so I don't really care too much about the slit pocket on these shorts, although I will be wearing these you know, it's still August, so it's still hot. I will be wearing these until I go to Disney and after Disney. So I'll just have to be a little co cognizant of the fact that I have a slit pocket on. I've been wearing slacks for um, what, 20 plus years now. So I'll just have to do the pat down every time I get up to make sure I still have all my stuff in my pockets. But opening up and taking a look at the 365 pants, I really like this gray color. I'm definitely into these uh, gray tones in my clothes. Uh, I like grays and browns, and gray pants are probably one of my favorite pants. These feel just like my khaki 365 pants, so yeah, I'm not I'm not going to be concerned at all with the durability of these pants because I know the slim fit versions I have had no problems with. They wear really well, they're really comfortable, and I've worn them in some really hot days. And uh, I didn't feel like sometimes when you wear jeans in a pair on a hot day, you sweat and you're just stuck, you can't even move. I did not have that uh, that issue when I wore the 365 pants on a really hot day and I did wear them on a shoot and I was bending and moving and crouching and running and uh, I was sweating quite a bit and I still have full range of movement. So I know I'm gonna have the full range of movement with the 365 pants in the straight fit as well. And again, I really like this colorway and I already know the quality of these is going to be top notch. So then we have the Proof Rover and the Flint and Tinder 365 shorts. Both of these are a 32 inch waist and a seven inch inseam. So this is a slim fit. So I feel like these are going to fit just like the Rover pants and they do have the same accents that I really liked on the proof Rover pants. They have the black button and the black rivets. I just really like those black accents on the pants and I also like this almost like wash kind of finish where it's got a little bit of a fade already going on to it. So they don't look like they're worn out, but they already look like they're broken in. And if the shorts are anything like the pants, they're gonna be very, very comfortable the first time I put them on. And then we have the Flint and Tinder 365 shorts. Now I will say the shorts have a different feel. So it's a different material than the, uh, than the pants. So it definitely feels a little bit smoother. 
So the material as well as the cut, the material is a little bit different, but both of them feel really, really nice to the touch. Now the Flint and Tinder 365 pants in a straight fit come in at $98 USD. They're also available in a slim, athletic tapered and relaxed fits. But the colorways do vary by cut, so you're definitely gonna wanna see what is available in the fit that you are looking at. The Flint and Tinder 365 shorts come in a five inch, a seven inch, or a nine inch inseam, all of which come in at $78 USD, and they are available in a variety of colors based on the inseam you choose. The Proof Rover shorts come in at $78 USD and are available in four different colorways. Next, we're gonna get into the button-down shirts they sent me. All of these are Flint and Tinder, but they are different cuts in different styles. We have the button-down Western shirt with the bone buttons. We have the architect shirt, and then we have the cotton linen shirt. So I have been staring at all of these shirts for quite a while, most namely the bone button Western shirt. I love Western shirts, and I think Facebook knows that because they just keep showing me the bone button Western shirt just about every day, multiple times a day in my feed. So when it was time to do the fall haul, I said, this one I gotta have. The other ones, here's a couple that I would like, but this is my number one. Please send me this one, fingers crossed that they did, and they did, so Huckberry, thank you very much. You've been enticing me with this shirt for months. So let's go ahead, pull these out of these, uh, these dust covers and check them out. Oh, I love this shirt. This shirt just looks awesome, just so digging it. It feels super soft and broken in, like a nice pair of jeans. I think, does it have a little bit of stretch to it? It does have just a little bit. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of stretch to it, but there's just enough. So when you're moving around and reaching and bending, trying to grab something, it's gonna kind of move with you and not give you that restriction, because I hate when the, again, I'm a little bigger in the shoulders than the chest. So sometimes a shirt, if it doesn't have any stretch, I'm trying to reach for something and I get hung up because it's too tight in the shoulder and the chest. So this shirt's gonna give me just enough stretch that I can bend and not be restricted. Next, we have the Architect shirt in this olive herringbone colorway. And it's kind of coming across on that camera, much better on this camera. Even online, it looks kind of black, but it definitely in person is olive. And I like this fleck much better on this camera. Even online, it looks kind of black, but it definitely in person is olive because this fleck pattern just looks really, really much better on this camera. Even online, it looks kind of black, but it definitely in person is olive pair of colorways and I really like this flecked look to it. It just looks pretty awesome and interesting and it's not like any uh, button down shirt that I've ever had before. And then lastly, we have the cotton linen shirts. Now I have had linen shirts in the past from other brands and I really, really like linen shirts. They're really nice for this time of the year um, when it's kind of warm and humid outside. So you still wanna wear a long sleeve shirt because generally I wear long sleeve shirts. I do have short sleeve button down shirts, but I prefer to wear long sleeve button down shirts. So when I wear a linen shirt, it just feels that much better. Now I will say this definitely feels a little thicker than the other linen shirts I have, which I kind of like, but I'm also going to need to have at least one nice outfit to wear in Disney for uh, the one, one nice dinner we're gonna go to. And because it's still gonna be hot and warm, I'm probably going to bring the cotton linen shirt as my button down, my nice shirt to wear at Disney because uh, this is going to feel much better than me trying to wear something a little bit heavier while I'm down in Florida and it's still gonna be hot and humid. The Flint and Tinner Architect shirt comes in at $138 USD and it is available in six different colorways. The Flint and Tinder Bone Button Western shirt comes in at $158 USD and is available in four different colorways, seen here in the medium dark wash. The Flint and Tinder Cotton Linen Textured shirt comes in at $128 USD, is available in two different colorways, and it is seen here in the slate blue. So I am really stoked about these three shirts and I will definitely be installing one of these tomorrow for work. Now next we have the Rhodes Logan boots that I have been looking for for quite some time. Now these are normally $250, but they appear to be on sale at the time of filming for $112 for the Hickory colorway, which I have here. And then they are $100 even for the Mojave suede. And if you wanted a pair of these, you were gonna have to act quick because less than a week ago, they had all sizes available. And right now they are only available in a size 12. So I wanted something a little bit lower 
sole because I wear either my Chippewas, which have a big lug sole, or my Ropers, which have a more smoother sole, a Western style. But I wanted something a little bit more casual uh, because the Western doesn't always fit in. But I also wanted a boot that looked good and would definitely last. And these have a Vibram sole on them. So I know that these are going to last me quite some time. In a former life, I worked at an Army Navy store. In addition to selling military gear, I sold something like Levi's, which is why I wore a lot of Levi's for a long time. Tons and tons of Carhartt, lots of work boots. I sold, that's why I have double H's, that's why I have Chippewas, they're part of the boots I sold, but I sold a lot of boots with Vibram soles. So I know that these are going to be a very durable sole and durable boot that is going to last me for some time. And I like this hickory colorway. I feel like this is gonna age and break in and give it that like nice worn in look. Because one of the things I love about my old Chippewas and my old Double H's is even though they're like beat and they're scuffed and they, you can tell they've been worn and worn for years, but I love when the uppers kind of break in and have that like scuff and that little bit of those nicks, it gives it character. So I can wear this to the office, but I can also wear this out and about casually and it's still gonna look good. And I really like the look of this boot right out of the box. It does already have a little bit, besides the nicks, I mean the leather kind of, you can see the variants. It does have like almost a distressed look to it right out of the box. And they're just gonna get a little bit more distressed the more I wear them. And these just, I'm so happy that these came into stock. I really, really am. I've been really, really looking forward to these boots. I have been watching these since, long before actually, I uh, partnered up with Huckberry to start filming these videos. I've been looking at these and waiting for these to come in stock. So I've been waiting for this boot to come back into stock since probably the early spring. I definitely got super lucky that they came in stock the day that I was chatting with the, the list of things I wanted to check out and that they got my email and got them sent out to me before they went back into stock. So I'm super, super excited about this boot. This is, uh, this is gonna be awesome. The Huckberry Weekender sunglasses come in seven different colorways and range in price from $39 to $45. And the tortoise colorways seen here are $45. And I got so excited to check out the boots, I did almost forget to come back to the sunglasses. So the sunglasses are, these are 45 bucks and they, they feel they feel good. I can't, I can't see what I look like. I, there's a monitor, I can tell I'm in it. I can see my head moving around, but I'm blind as a bat. I can't see physically what I look like right now. So you tell me, do I look good? I'll see it when I go to edit this in a day or two, but I don't know until then how I actually look with the sunglasses on, but they feel good. They're comfortable on my face. One thing I don't like about any glasses is when the, uh, the arm, it's too steep. It will dig into the back of the ear and you can usually tell right off the bat, as soon as you put on a pair of glasses, it's gonna dig in. And these feel good. They're actually, because I've been wearing my prescription glasses all day long. They're uh, they're falling right into the grooves that these are just, uh, these are my prescription glasses, they're a pair of Ray-Ban prescription glasses. These are fitting pretty much right into the groove of my, uh, my, uh, my Ray-Ban prescription glasses. And I like that quite a bit because uh, I had my contacts in yesterday and I was wearing my old Ray-Ban Wayfarers and actually they were less comfortable than my prescription glasses. So these, the uh, Huckberry Weekenders, right off the bat, actually feel more comfortable than my Ray-Ban Wayfarers are feeling because these are falling right into the same grooves and they feel good. They're not wiggling, they're not gonna fall off so I can... I think they're gonna stay on my face even if I go on a ride. Don't really plan on going on Space Mountain or... Um can't remember the name of some of the other, the Matador, Matterhorn. Man, it's been a long, long time since I've been at Disney. I don't remember all the rides that are there, but I feel like if I'm going on something bouncy, I don't have to worry about these falling off my face. So, fitting and feeling pretty good. So it's time to start testing and wearing all of these clothes, seeing how they fit, seeing how they feel, seeing how they wear, seeing how the classic fit versus the performance fit of the 72-hour Merino wool t-shirt feels, seeing how the slim fit compared to the straight fit of the 365 pants feel. Check out the uh, weekend or sunglasses while I'm at the park and see how well they stay in my face through uh, some rides and whatnot. And uh, I definitely can't wait to see how the Rhodes Logan hold up. So you're just gonna have to stay tuned for a whole bunch of forthcoming videos to check out my thoughts on all of these products. So if you like this video, right away the videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video. Good night.